The $120 million facility welcomed last week by the Finance Ministry and the Central Bank. Officials saying financing was a timely shot in the arm to address date and slow growth. This program aims at five key things. One, supporting economic recovery from the shock of COVID-19 and other subsequent shocks, ensuring debt, that the debt remains sustainable, supporting Uganda's external position, that's the balance of payments. But the times are straightforward and puts government to test, meet commitments in revenue collection, boost external reserves and repay date at maturity. What was agreed that uh, the government should step up the revenue uh, collection measures and be able to meet the targets. So government underperformed on that one. The reserves have trended downwards to the level of 3.5 billion, so a gap of 1 billion. So government also underperformed on that particular uh, criteria. Then the third one was government overdraft facility. How does that arise? Uh, it arises out of uh, redemption of bonds. When bonds mature, government is supposed to provide the equivalent shilling cover to be able to pay investors. This lends credence to the deputy governor's admission recently that foreign exchange reserves were on the decline. Why we remain the fourth, but this score dropped from 64 to 63 on account of reduced FX reserves and liquidity that resulted from the flight to quality as offshore funds exited the frontier markets amid rising interest rates environment in their home countries. As government now turns to ensuring it meets terms agreed upon with the International Monetary Fund, meeting commitments on revenue collection where economic activity is low may force its hand into borrowing to fund its development programs. It is so concessional in very long term. So the, the, the pressure is not immediate. But for me now, the key question, when we put all these, sum all these things up, going forward, how does government fund itself? Um, given the hurdles that we're facing on the domestic revenue uh, uh, angle, how does this pan out now and beyond July 2024? I see, uh, in my view, I see a number of issues. One, there is likelihood that we'll have to borrow externally and on commercial terms. Despite these fiscal pressures, uh, it gives an optimistic view for investors, the markets, that Uganda is still on track in terms of economic uh, transformation agenda that is agreed on the uh, program. So that is that's very key. The International Monetary Fund outlook shows Uganda will grow at 6% in the financial year 2023-24 and jump to 7% in the financial year 2024-25 in the medium term.